Check this out right here. First of all, let me just show you real quick what a Mexican looks like. <laughs> Anyways, see this right here? Kuda Revolving Sushi Bar. This is actually a Japanese chain of revolving sushi. But look at the price here. Starting at $2.25 each. Hell nah, son. <laughs> it's a freaking 100 yen each in Japan, and we're freaking multiplying that by 2.25 at least. That's without the conversion rate, too, man. This isn't real. This isn't real. Let's go get some real Japanese ramen, though. <laughs> Guess what? And so we didn't go there. We were originally we were gonna go there, but it was a little pricey, so we ended up going to this ramen place, Hanabi Ramen. And I just got some reverse culture. Oh, let's look at the sunlight, dude. <gasps> and his lion's mane. Anyway, it's got some reverse culture shock over here. I forgot you have to like you just put your credit card in the thing. Because in Japan you always walk your you always walk your bill to the to the to the counter, you see? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Andrew here is going to freaking Japan at the end of September. <laughs> He's getting his pieces ready. He's getting his pieces ready because every single damn photo you gotta get your pieces up. Throw your sets up, dude. <laughs> and then also tipping, dude. Tipping. I know, yeah, I know you got a tip here, but like, you think about the price difference. Like, is it, that was like an eleven dollar bowl of ramen, and they tip like three bucks. That makes it a fourteen dollar bowl of ramen. But in Japan, you can get like a really good ramen for like nine bucks, and then no tip. So nine compared to fourteen, you know. It's quite a difference, so. But I know that's how, you know, the waiters make their living, except that guy. America. Yeah, that guy wasn't America. really that cool. He didn't smile at all, and he barely talked, and he was like very, he was he was, yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that guy. Um, just got to Dallas two days ago, and we're already moving it to Houston, where my new job is located, so uh, here we go. This is gonna be like a four and a half hour drive. I'm gonna die. What? <laughs> oh gosh, dude, too early to drive that much. It's now 10.40. I think I left at like 6.30 or something. I'm finally here. I'm about to sign my contract for my new job. And it feels a little strange. Hang on, there's like something on the screen. It feels a little strange that it's not like the ALT jet contract that I've been signing for the past years. So, uh... It's so I kind of want to... Okay, Look at these courts. Yeah, just Is this ground like, flat? Like, looks like it's like... I you see that? See they, yeah, it's, it's all, Do you guys see that? But like, we'll just kind of need to get everything ready. For Look at this place. Ready to go? I'm here with my El Salvadorian... Still have that thing? Homies. <laughs> that thing's been alive. Bro, you still uh, use that thing? That thing's been alive longer than some kids. <laughs> This camera, Dude, this camera is a classic, okay? It can go underwater. It's easy to carry around. It's not big and bulky. So let's talk about the Hardy Boys here. <laughs> Matt and Jeff. They came back. WrestleMania. What was it, 33? <laughs> okay. It was a, it was a, uh, to begin with, it was supposed to be a triple threat ladder match. <laughs> and everybody knew that it could have been the Hardy Boys at any time coming into the match. <laughs> Why? Because there were free agents at the time. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Who knows? Like, shut could... the fuck up. Who knows? Oh shit. They're like, they could be coming to WrestleMania because they will be in Miami. But I have no idea. I just want to make a public statement. I need Steven Martinez to pay me back the $300 I gave him exactly two years ago. <laughs> Wait a second. What is this? So but currently, I have no apartment. Wait, no. I have no, I have no place to stay yet. And currently, the school that I work at is an hour away. But I'm, stay I'm staying at Carlos' place, so I don't got a place here. I gotta look for one. He's sleeping next to me, ladies. <laughs> you really wanna know. He has a, we have a guest room. That's not... We don't have to sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but I'm sleeping in your room, though. But Thomas doesn't know he's sleeping next to me. I just found out. Why? We have a whole guest room. <laughs> Wait. Is it going? Yes, it's going. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>
Chris. Guess what we just did right here? I'm here with Carlos in his home turf of Houston, but now also my home turf of Houston. And what did we just do? What, what did you just watch me do, Carlos? What did I just do? I don't know. But I just watched you. Get... He doesn't even know, but I just got an apartment lease. Dude. Oh. oh <laughs> just uh, I was on my phone. Yeah, Carlos is literally staring at his phone the whole time. Throughout the one hour drive as well while I was driving. Really? Don't text and drive. Anyways, I just signed my lease to an apartment. This this apartment is nice, but there's no bed or internet, internet yet, there, yet there, so I'm just gonna still like, you know, I'm just gonna bum at Carlos' place, which is way too far from my workplace, but until there's internet and bed, I ain't going there. We're gonna make it work. Oh, you see this? You see this? Ah, hold it, hold it, hold it. What did I say? Barbecue and sushi. Sushi. This place takes sushi and American barbecue and they put it in one. This is America. <laughs> this is America. White people love this. They die for this kind of thing. They like sushi. I'm a little bit fancy. Brisket. My home, my home roots. We put that together. Ah, what in tarnation? <laughs> you see this thing? You see this thing? Guess what's inside here? There is rib meat inside here, guys. There's rib meat inside here. And raw tuna on top. Now, this was a little, and when I say a little, I mean a lot, overpriced. But you know what? A little. I came here because I was intrigued by the name of barbecue plus sushi. And that's why we're in here, so I had to get I had to. Oh my god, look at this Caribbean cruise. I feel like I'm on a Caribbean cruise. Look at that mango pico de gallo. What'd you get at this sushi restaurant? Uh, I got a brisket sandwich, <laughs> a big sushi sandwich. <laughs> yeah, dude. With no sushi. <laughs> <laughs> that's straight up freaking picks and cheese. Guys, you see what's missing here? There's one piece of missing because I just ate it and this thing was so freaking good. They got that barbecue rib meat, that slow cook braised barbecue rib meat. And then that raw tuna on top wrapped in a lettuce shell. Kawaii on the Daveru Iko. Did I say that correctly, all of it? We're teaching Carlos some nasty Japanese stuff. But Carlos is pretty quick for learning Japanese, so. Anyways, Carlos here doesn't really like sushi, is that right? What do you think about raw fish? Raw fish? Yeah, and sushi. It's meant to be cooked. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. <laughs> well, there you have it. And now Carlos is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> try, you're gonna try one of these and see how he likes it with the rib inside but the raw fish on top. Raw fish on top. You don't want to do that raw fish? <laughs> what are you, what are you gonna do with the raw fish? Yeah, just eat it together. Just eat it together. Oh, wait, I can't be like. Yeah. Just in case I start choking, Thomas knows CPR now. Oh, uh, yeah, I know CPR now. Very safe. Very safe. <laughs> Don't check for pulse, just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Compressions, compressions. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. What, what, what? In America. <laughs> <We use force. laughs> oh, no. You idiot, that's why you don't use that. You're gonna break it. You're gonna break it, boy. Let's see how he responds. Let's see if he throws up or if he gags. If he gags, he's a poo. He's a. He's a. Pss. That was really good. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, you actually liked it? Yeah, it was good. I just say raw fish is awkward. What did you like about it? I like the barbecue. <laughs> Did it taste good then? Tastes good. good. Yeah, Carlos is not into that whole raw fish texture, I think. It's only one thing I like raw. What? It ain't fish. Uh, okay. Check it out. Doing some doing some preschool maintenance on the tennis courts and the, the shack over there. And look what I got. <laughs> look at this big ass frog. Big big old bullfrog. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
or the district commits to in order for the school to do this work. Day two of we the new again, teacher orientation. This is way less strict right than Japan. We use our phones. They give us candy. Vision? You can just eat We're food here. It is crazy. Like I was saying before my camera randomly shut off, the battery looks like it's fine, I don't know why it shut off. We're doing a scavenger in here, and there's a, a lot of things to do in here, and this school is so big. I don't know like how I'm supposed to find all these places. And you gotta take a bunch of selfies, this school is like super into social media and Twitter, so you gotta take a billion selfies, so like every single, every single scavenger hunt thing is like take a selfie, so I got my camera ready for the selfies, oh boy. Just got a bunch of keys. I got the hexagon key. I got my mentor Morgan over here, just you know, helping me out, helping me, um, <laughs> helping me, uh, you know, get some of these scavenges done because I had like none for the longest time. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Look how big this school is. That's the cafeteria. That's like as big as the whole Tsuyama High School. After being in Japan for three years and getting used to like those tight, the tiny school there, like coming here, it's. Ridiculous, like this place is way too big, but it's kind of cool at the same time. This group of learning cottages is affectionately called the A Buildings. Take a selfie by A15. 13, 14, and haha, very funny. There's no 15. Who's the help desk? Guess what? So I came, I, I, I came dead last in the scavenger hunt. Issue. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. This is my classroom, room two eighty three. I just set it up. All the stuff was like against that wall, like because because uh, custodians when they clean, they like put everything against that wall. So I had to move everything myself. But check it out. You walk in here, you know, pick up the daily handouts and activities. I got my setup here, but I need to find another table because if I if I just stand here and it's projecting onto the thing, I'm gonna be in students' way. But this is how I got it set up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this classroom. Very different from Hapon's classroom, but pretty much all of these kids are gonna be in groups, and then they're looking at the stage because it kind of it kind of looks like it's you know in a little arc, and then everyone's facing at the stage. But this is my classroom. It's kind of cool having my own classroom now. But I'm gonna go scavenge the uh, hallways to find a uh, short desk so I can have my projector on. <sighs> it's been so busy recently because we've been having in service every day from like 8 to like 3, and then right after that we have tennis tryouts. And after tennis tryouts, we always have to discuss tryouts go from like 4 to 7.30, so I've been getting home at like 9 or 10 every day, so I have not been able to work out this week at all. I can't work out in the morning either because. I always cramp later on after I work out like so if I work out my chest I'll cramp like chest and triceps if I work out back and biceps then I'll cramp in my forearms and whatever so I can't really be like that for tennis trials since I'm running drills the whole time I'll start up once I get a little settled down Jeez Louise this straight up feels like we're back in high school over here right now we're having the Klein ISD kickoff so it's like every single teacher coach and whatever in Klein district and uh, we're like celebrating kind of the start of the school year everyone's wearing their spirit like clothes chanting and yelling and cheering and stuff it's crazy look at this I got my Klein tennis shirt Today, look, all right, it's not every day that you guys get to play with really good players, you know, and you should be, you know, excited to play against good players. So we can always, you know, use opportunities, especially when we're playing against people better than us, to learn, right? That's what we've been talking about these past few times, like trying to learn, trying to get better. Okay, we can always learn, all right? So no matter who you're playing, always be looking to improve. And against them, it's a great opportunity to improve, even if we don't win, okay? So don't be afraid today, there's nothing to lose. There's nothing to lose, really. So let's just go out there, play our best, fight, focus, and then try to improve, okay?
One, so remember it's like all in, all in, all in, all in. One, two, three, let's go Panthers! Ah, ah, going nuts. So let's just go out there, play our best fight, and then try to improve.